Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. President of European Commission, President Barroso, Mr. Prime Minister Zapatero, leading our presidency of the European Union. Uh, I don't know if Mr. Commissioner um, Oettinger is present between us, but probably he will be in a few minutes with us. Uh, dear first Vice President of the Committee of Regions, Mr. Valkal Siso, and dear Mayors, first of all, all of you sitting around, uh, welcome to the European Parliament. It's a very important meeting for all of us. I'm sure that the future is in your hands. I will say a few words about that and my position on this issue. And it's a great honour for all of us, members of the European Parliament, to welcome you in the European Parliament. I have always believed in the importance of local governments. Being Prime Minister ten years ago, I introduced reforms which restructured my own country from a centralised post-communist state to one where the role of local authorities with real administrative power is guaranteed. The local authorities, you present here, are the officials who are most in touch with our citizens and are the backbone of our society since you deal with their day-to-day -day challenges at first hand. One of the challenges you are faced with is how to run sustainable cities and how to develop while looking after the environment and how to be competitive enough because competitivity is absolutely necessary for our cities, for our uh, industry. Three quarters of our citizens live and work in cities and they consume much more than 75% of the energy used in the EU, most of greenhouse gas emissions in Europe come from urban areas. So the fight against climate change is not just a global problem. It has to have local solutions as well. So your meeting here is so important, dear friends. The European Union is leading the way in the global fight against climate change. Our member states have committed themselves to cutting CO2 emission by 20% by 2020 and more if other industrialized countries join us. Our new EU 2020 strategy, which is the roadmap of our economic growth over the next 10 years, puts together the three issues. First, energy security. Second, very important issue of competitivity. And third, environment and climate change. How to make possible to realize three of them together. At Copenhagen, it was European states, our member states, with our partners from America, who were able to propose the global figures we need. But figures are not necessary. We have the numbers, now we need to achieve binding targets and binding agreements. I hope we can make more progress in Cancun this summer, uh, this uh, winter, but even if the progress is limited, the process must go on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the dawn of a green revolution. But in this revolution, you, the mayors of the, our cities, are the front line. You are best placed to propose solutions which reconcile the public and private interests. We say very open and very, very often. Public, par, pu, pub, mm, private public partnership, so important for all of us, and integrate the use of your sustainable energy in the development plans of urban areas. 
your sustainable action plans are becoming the blueprints for Europe and uh, they are having the three points, as I mentioned before. Renewable energy policy, efficiency of using energy and using the fossil fuels in the zero emission way. Three points for sustainable action plans. I am convinced that for the EU 2020 strategy to succeed, we not only need a comprehensive legislative program with concrete legislation and regulation, we also need a bottom-up approach of initiatives which come from local authorities. Your proposals, numerous proposals, municipal infrastructure, urban transport, urban planning, use of local renewable energy production, energy efficiency, using fossil fuels in quite a new ways, are the benchmarks of excellence which not only other cities can use, but they can become models for the whole of Europe to imitate. Dear colleagues, this leads me to my second point. Climate change is a challenge. But in all challenges, there are also opportunities. Let us see climate change issue as opportunity for all of us. We may be at the dawn of a green revolution, but the question we need to answer is whether Europe will lead or follow only in this revolution. Progress is not linear. At the end of the last century, Europe missed out on the technological revolution based on the microchip. Fortunately, we have been the absolute world leaders recently with cell phone production. Our companies like Philips, Alcatel, Nokia, Ericsson and others, a lot of them in Europe, are leading, are having a leading position thanks to our great decision to introducing common standards. Today, we are the leaders in wind power technology, in the uses of solar energy, biofuels and other renewables. Let us take the window of opportunity in front of us. We have a world-class nuclear industry as well. It is clear that we need more investments in research and development and in innovations in new technologies, also with, in something which we know very, very well, it's quite newborn um, baby of our uh, revolution, in innovations revolution. It is uh, our European Institute of Innovation and Technology, which was a great achievement of the first commission of Mr. Barroso as a president of the commission. And we must invest. Of course, it is impossible to invest in nuclear on the, on the city level. I'm talking about nuclear energy as an as a overall um, investment and, and possibility for us. But certainly, renewables, efficiency, new way of using fossil fuels. But we have a second advantage. We have administrative know-how. The convent of mayors can and should be the driving force in green governance, providing expertise and best practices to cities and municipalities who wish to cooperate and to national governments who wish to listen. Let me say at the end, I believe that the standards you set, like it was with our phone cells, mobile phones, standards you set and the initiatives you propose will help us find solutions to the greatest challenge we face in the 21st century, the warming of the planet we live in and how to avoid the catastrophe which could be, could be uh, as a result of the climate problems. The future is in your hands, Madame and Monsieur mayors of the city. Thank you very much.